Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an update video to my uh, Nevermind Tone guy. I know I've been doing a lot of uh, Nevermind era videos, but I'm going to be doing some more in utero style videos soon. So, but for today, we're just going. I'm just going to uh, sort of show you again because it does sound a little different. So, I'll just show you the pedal settings now that I'm using. So in terms of pedal settings, um, I'm just using a looper here. This is the Boss RC1, and it's a great looper pedal. It's really easy to use, and it's pretty fun to use. So that, uh, that just has the level on around 11 o'clock. The small clone, obviously. I have um, here. So I've got the depth setting up currently and the rate setting around nine o'clock just past slightly past nine o'clock but i will um for certain songs you can turn the for certain songs i'll turn the depth setting off or down and put the rate control about there uh which sort of gives which gives them a wobbly sound but yeah for the most part it usually stays about there so the next pedal is Sansamp gt2 by tech 21 it's a really good distortion pedal i use it all the time uh, these are my new settings for it so i've changed the mod to hot wired and i've reduced the bass a lot because i realized that um in my last video i had the bass way too high so I've changed it down and it sounds a lot better now. Uh, this is my the Boss DS2. Um, this is my settings for it. I only I'm only using uh, the not using the turbo mode. I've got distortion level at max and tone uh, around one to two o'clock because it sounds too um, muddy when the tone is. Uh, at 11 o'clock which is what Kurt actually used live and here you have the Boss DS1 I don't use it very often but I've got the distortion max the level max and the tone around 10 o'clock between 10 and 9 Um, the tone it gets too bright when it's up at around 11 which is where Kurt used it so that's why I have it sort of lower next I have the poly chorus which I just have what I have the settings that I have on it are a tiny bit of feedback it's on the chorus mode the sweep filter is on a tiny bit of delay the width is pretty low and the sweep rate is pretty high and basically I use this pedal in with the small clone to make the chorus sound more um wobbly and wet it gives it sort of a wet sounding a wet like sound effect you, I'll, you'll see more when i actually demo it but yeah it gives it it gets really close to the chorus sound on nevermind and then i've just got a boss tuner here so for amp settings i'm not using the clean channel i'm using the overdrive channel and I don't know if you can see that, but I have my gain almost zero. Just for a tiny bit of breakup on the volume. Uh, quite high to get, to just get a little bit of breakup like they have in the Queen side of Nevermind. The equalization I have, bass um, around 11 o'clock, middle, max, and treble around three just past the ISF is set for American which is a messy boogie type sound a little bit of reverb and the master volume is very low because this amp can get really loud for picks I'll just be using a Dunlop Tortex 3 which are uh, pretty good picks uh, and this is the medium 60 uh, millimeter of the same picks as what Kurt would have used doesn't really make a difference to the sound and these are like Tortex 3 I believe he used Tortex 1 but yeah they're pretty good picks if 
finally for guitars I'll be using this modified Fender Jaguar so um, talking about this for a second the um, pickups have been swapped for DeMarzio's and you can see I've got black pickup rings in there so in the bridge I have a DeMarzio super distortion with the F-spaced version because obviously the Jaguar has a tremolo and in the neck I've got a PIF 36th anniversary which are the same pickups as the Kurt Signature guitar Fender did. I've just got the stock switching system here and yeah the stock switching here which is a kill switch and the coil splitting rulers. I always keep these in, I, well I usually keep these in humbuckers but yeah I've also got a tunematic bridge down here which is what this guitar comes with um because it was originally classic player jaguar hh i've also got the vibrato here which i always keep locked because i've never used it i've also changed the knobs to silver knobs i think they look a lot better and they look a lot more like the kurt signature again and that's just the stock neck obviously Headstock, stock tuners, everything there is stock. I've also got uh, shoulder strap locks on it, or shoulder S locks, the new versions, and a Fender running logo strap. So, yeah. Oh, the, by the way, the pots are also uh, one meg pots, so it's the same as uh, the Kurt Cobain signature. So now I'm going to start demonstrating some sound. I'm not going to change tunings for this video because it's a bit of a pain changing from half step to whole step and all so I'm just going to sort of leave that and you can get like a rough idea of what the songs sound like so basically uh, I've changed a bit of what I'm going to do so basically I'm going to start off with Smells Like Teen Spirit I'm just going to do that quickly because it's basically it's sort of the same as what I did last time so, this is my clean sound. Just that you hear that. So, it's, um, my, as you can hear, my clean sound is pretty mid rangey and uh, pretty um, kind of trebly. Not too much bass. To start off with Smell Like Teen Spirit. Um, I don't play it any differently, but for the intro I've just got this clean sound, which is slightly distorted like the song. And you're going to want to strum quite hard for this intro. They did overdub the guitar on this song twice, so there's two, so you hear like two guitars in the intro. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use one. So they used a uh, Jaguar and a Strat for the intro, I believe. So like the main sound is like a Strat, but this guitar gets the same sound. So I'll play it fast now. Then what the distortion I'm going to use is a Sans amp because it sort of gets the it gets the um sound really well. Obviously, you'd overdub this if it was in a mix, but. Um, I'm just going to do it without mixing anything, so here we go. That's basically all you do for the rhythm. Then the um, section is the small clone. That's the pedal you use for it. So basically what you want to do is turn the depth on your small clone down and change the rate up to the setting I showed earlier. Uh, hold on. There we go. And they sort of use this. So this is the basic sound. 
But if you want to add a bit more of, of wateriness to the sound, you can also add in the small clone, I mean, sorry, this poly chorus, and with the faster rate setting that I showed you, and it sounds like this. That's pretty close, but you could just do this if you want to. If you don't have two chorus pedals or whatever, you can just go. And that gets pretty close. So that's basically it for Smells Like Teen Spirit. There's not much else to it. If you wanted to do it with the Boss DS2, it would sound like this. So it's a bit more bassy and a bit more, uh, it's a bit less um, dirty, if you know what I mean. Uh, the Boss DS1, you could also do it with. But I, I think it's just a little too quiet compared to the other two. But moving on to In Bloom. It's the exact same sound as Smells Like Teen Spirit, so I'll play the intro. <laughs> And then there's a little, there's the guitar sort of cuts out after that, and then it eventually comes back in with the chorus on. You can use the same small clone settings as uh, Smell Like Teen Spirit for the um, guitar part and then so. <laughs> So it cuts in again with the pretty much the same as those two except there was a lot more there was um, a lot more guitar overdubs on during you so I just used the I'm not gonna drop tune for the, any of the songs uh, by the way I've told you so as the intro is two get two clean guitars with a lot of reverb um so the clean intro would sort of sound like this Can you hear all that reason right there? So the clean intro would sound like this. Like that with two guitars, but I don't really use that much reverb, but it's sort of a pain to keep changing the settings, so. And then when the a distorted guitar kicks in with the sun, I'll do it with the sun lamp. It's that, so. Time, so you get a wobbly, a very wobbly sound. It's pretty, like sort of like a watery sound, and then you're gonna just wanna 
So you're just sort of doing that, and then the build up is uh, you just you play the same this bar chord, but lift your fingers off the bottom string, so you strum it. It's kind of weird sounding chord. So you just strum that with a lot of distortion, very fast. So it's sort of. sound so come as you are is a little different uh, we need to change the small clone uh, back to the uh, setting I showed earlier the one with the depth switch up and so here, with just the small clone it sort of sounds off so I'll show you what I mean. Obviously I'm not in the, and um, obviously I'm just a standard tuning here, but uh, you get the idea. So. See, it doesn't sound quite right. So what you, what I do is put the poly course on with the fast rate, and it sounds like this. step down it, that actually sounds really really similar so yeah that's come as you are and then the, obviously the distorted part would just be the pedals on with the uh, distortion so here's it with the sans lamp <laughs> distortion you want to turn your uh, gain down so that you can still distinguish the notes um, properly so probably around that <laughs> I think they so recorded the chorus guitar and the distorted guitar separately and mixed them together in that song, but uh, I'm not sure, 100%. For Breed, um, you, the sound is very like muddy, uh, it sounds like a, it sort of sounds like the boss, like a, a pedal, an overdrive pe or a distortion pedal run run into the front of an already distorted amp. It's sort of it's a pretty um, it's a very like dirty sound. So if you use a sans amp, it will sound like this. <laughs> with the DS2 if you, were, if you were overdubbing and you would get this sort of sound you get this well this is just with the DS2 
uh, there's only distorted guitar in that. For territorial pissings, um, this one is quite um, weird to do. Well, you should, what I would because this song was recorded straight into a mixing board. Um, it's basically what you need to do is have your amp on the clean channel. Just with sort of very basic clean sound. And then what I would do is, then, is use the Boss DS2 because it gets a very scratchy sound like the the um the the song. And it actually sounds like there is a little bit of chorus on that song, so you could add the small chorus. So this is what it would sound like without the chorus, the the distorted part with the boss DS2. And then with the chorus you get this. Difficult songs on the album to um, recreate the sound of because you really just need to plug into a mixing board and do and with the distortion pedal to get that sort of to get sort of similar. But I think that works okay. Um, I'll now talk about the sort of live sounds you can get. Um, so. The so the live sounds in the Nevermind era are pretty pretty easy to get. Um, or the easiest one of the easiest ones to get is live Reading, sorry. And uh, that is you Kurt just used a boss DS2 at that show with the small clone. So basically you just wanna go onto your um amplifier under the clean channel. And uh, you put the tone or your e EQ so that you have quite a lot of mid range and a high treble. I know that the clean sound at that show he had was pretty distorted, but um, it's kind of it's really hard to emulate that properly. I I could use the sans amp to emulate it if I did the. California setting the clean. So if you have the sounds off on a sort of emulated a bit, sort of dirtiness you had in that. So. about a girl you can you can really hear that there's a lot of there's a lot of distortion on the clean sound well a bit of overdrive so. it's a very um the tone at that show wasn't very good i don't think but you can get the sound by using the boss ds2 just on the clean channel of an amplifier with quite a lot of treble. So here's Breed, for example, the very first song I played. People think that he actually used the remote two mode on in that show, so I'll try that with the tone a bit low because I generally find that mode to be a bit more trebly. So here's mode two on breed. <laughs> There's not 
not a lot a huge difference between both modes. Personally, I kind of think that uh, mode one gets the sound better. I uh, don't know. It's just from what I hear. Uh, I'll give you a few more examples for like drain you. <laughs> Also get the the like the, the paramount sound by um, using the uh, overdrive channel, and I'm not gonna do it here, but by using the overdrive channel and turning your gain up a bit, and by using the Boss DS2 on mode one, you can get the the you can get your sound very similar. So, for example, uh, just Jesus doesn't want me for a sunbeam. So that's basically it for this video. There's not much more to say. Um, I know not everyone will have the same gear that I do and obviously uh, Kurt did but this is hopefully give you a rough guide as to how you can get a very similar sound. So I just recommend sort of experimenting with what you have and seeing what works best and um, maybe try what I would do is try if you have a sort of solid state cheap amp it would be to try um um, turning down your treble a bit and and uh, sort of cutting your mid range a bit because generally though um, a lot of cheap solid state amps are are pretty mid rangey and pretty trebly so um, it's not sort of like that with uh, more expensive tube amps but yeah um, so that was it basically uh, my take on the tone We'll be posting some, trying to get some Minjiro tone guides done for the like live and loud and stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and um, I'll sort of I'll see you in the next few videos. So yeah, goodbye.